Lies, the basis of all good relationships and the very foundation of the games industry. Developers will use any means necessary when it comes to making sales, and in the case of most modern AAA games, this means shelling out a ton of money on marketing in order to build up high levels of pre-release hype. This means that when the game actually comes to release, fans can be dismayed at how different the actual offering is. With this in mind, I'm Jules of WhatCulture.com, and here are 10 times that video games lied in order to take our money. Number 10. Infestation – Survivor Stories The War Z was released back in 2012 and quickly became known as being a total disaster of a game. In fact, it got so bad that developer and publisher OP Productions ended up re-releasing the game with a new title, Infestation – Survivor Stories. Despite a number of positive early reviews, the game got totally panned by critics. Common complaints included a bad UI design, buggy gameplay, and obnoxious microtransactions. Most notoriously, though, was many customers accused the developer of fraud. The War Z was originally advertised on Steam as having multiple large game worlds, player versus environment combat, skill point leveling, and 100 player servers. None of these features were available upon release. But don't worry, Steam being the ever-vigilant protector of humanity that it is, pulled the game, but then allowed it back online under its new title, so good job there. Number 9. Spore one of the most overhyped video games of all time, Spore represents a tragedy in the lives of any PC gamer. Judging from pre-release material, it looks to be by far the most epic, ambitious video game ever made, seeing you go from YouTube gamer-like amoebas into master race aliens. In reality, Spore wasn't the transcendent experience that many were hoping for, and instead a collection of underwhelming minigames. Spore might have been grand in scope, but its individual components were overly simple and as disconnected as the youth today from their moral obligations. Number 8. Grand Theft Auto V there's no doubt that Grand Theft Auto V is one of the greatest games of the last few years. The world, characters, and gameplay of the single-player campaign are all phenomenally good, and light years ahead of most AAA releases. Sadly, the multiplayer mode, in the form of Grand Theft Auto Online, was a disappointment. Loading screens and gaining cash using gameplay alone took far too long, and microtransactions cheapened the entire experience. What really got fans annoyed, though, was the highly anticipated online heights, which were noticeably absent. Rockstar promised that they would be added in a later update, but funnily enough, it only occurred once the game released on PS4 and Xbox One. Gosh, that's a bit of a kawinky dink, isn't it? Rockstar, I love you, but don't piss in my chips and call it vinegar and then try and sell me the vinegar a year later. Number 7. Colin McRae Rally this actually doesn't refer to the original game, but rather the Steam remastered version. Many fans of the series were excited to see the classic being remade, but were instantly disappointed after loading up the game for the first time. The new Colin McRae Rally isn't a proper HD remaster, it's not even a retextured version of the 1998 PC version or a complete remake. Instead, the 499 title is a direct port of a mobile game. There's no customization, no video settings, and feels like you're trying to shepherd a lame donkey into a skip. It wasn't technically false advertising, but, you know, as you can see from the extremely negative Steam reviews, many buyers felt certainly misled. In fact, fan response was so negative that Codemasters offered a full refund, so kind of good, but mostly shame. Number 6. Call of Duty 2 It might have been a cinematic tour de force in its day, but Call of Duty 2's advertising made it out to be something far more than reality. A trailer for the game released in 2006 generated controversy after claims that it was misleading customers. The trailer showed pre-rendered footage that was above and beyond anything that could be played on the Xbox 360. It was also shown entirely through a first-person perspective, and many felt that this was intended to trick viewers into thinking that this was a representation of the actual gameplay. Activision denied these claims, stating that The footage was intended purely to communicate the subject matter of the game rather than represent the actual gameplay. So they didn't lie, but they did lie. Number 5. Halo 2 Halo 2 remains one of the best multiplayer games ever released, and the best-selling Xbox game ever. Sure, the campaign was criticised for its poorly implemented ending, what with the ugly potato grave mind and the stupid decision to make you play as someone other than the walking man mountain that was the chief, but it's certainly not considered a low point in the series. So what's the problem then? Well, for a while it was looking like Halo 2 would be a whole lot better than what we saw on release. Thanks to extremely tight scheduling constraints, however, the team behind the second Halo were forced to rein in their ambitions. This is most noticeable in the 2004 E3 real-time demo, which showed off an excitingly dynamic, detailed level that looked years ahead of its time. It turned out that that was exactly what was true, and the entire level was axed despite many fans going on to believe that that was actually what was going to be in the final game. Number 4. Diablo 3 Despite belonging to one of Blizzard's most beloved franchises, Diablo 3 was a bit of a mess upon first releasing. A dull loot system, an opening week played with connection errors, and a real-time money auction house which all that helped make the game feel a bit of a flop. Thankfully, Diablo 3 is in a much better place now, by which I mean that it's nearly all been but forgotten as it resides inside the arsehole of Overwatch. But Blizzard have removed the auction houses, endgame has been vastly expanded upon, and the loot system was totally revamped. But they're still missing a key feature in the form of a fully realised PvP system. Blizzard promised its inclusion in a later update, but here we are in 2016 and we're still waiting, pining even for this to be inserted. 
Number 3. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2009 All Play EA got into a little bit of trouble back in 2008 after they were found to be misleading customers with ads for their Wii title, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2009 All Play. The game might have been pretty decent as Wii Sports titles go, but apparently EA didn't think it good enough to sell on its own merits. The game was advertised in the UK with television broadcasts of a gameplay footage trailer. However, after receiving a number of complaints, the Advertising Standards Authority forced EA to pull the ad. It turned out that EA had actually used footage from the Xbox 360 version of the game in a Wii-specific ad. The publisher then claimed that the Wii footage was not of broadcast quality, which is about as truthful and common as you could hope for. Number 2. Aliens – Colonial Marines Until Alien Isolation gripped the market like a virulent facehugger, video games hadn't been very kind to the franchise for quite some time. The idea of a great Alien franchise game adaptation is always exciting though, so when Aliens – Colonial Marines was announced, it was met with a fairly high level of excitement. The pre-release material for Colonial Marines looked absolutely stunning. Environments dripped with atmosphere, the graphics were as good as any next-gen AAA release, and the Alien AI was touted as offering uniquely clever enemy experiences. Then, in one of the biggest gaming controversies of 2013, Aliens Colonial Marines' final release barely resembled what had been shown in the pre-release trailers. The graphics were ugly, the Alien AI was laughable, and the gameplay was a total mess of half-baked ideas and frustrating shooting mechanics. As a result of this false advertising, a lawsuit was filed on behalf of a class, and Sega agreed to settle by paying $1,250,000. Number 1. Fable Peter Molyneux just can't help himself. He's like a sugar fueled little boy that you see telling stories of how amazing the world is, but you just know he's getting a belt whipped across him each night from Father Dearest. Apologies, that one was a little dark. If there's an upcoming game that Molyneux has had some involvement in, then you've got to take every bit of pre release information with a pinch of salt. While his passion is commendable, gamers have repeatedly been frustrated by his game's total inability to deliver on promises. Fable is the most notorious example of this. Before it was released, Molyneux promised a list of features that would make every RPG fan drool at the mouth. A huge dynamic world that changed depending on your choices over a span of decades. NPCs that intelligently changed their opinions on you based on past deeds. A karma system unlike any other. What we got was something more watered down than the portrayal of sex in daytime TV. A completely average action RPG title with a bit of smoke and mirrors in the background. Pete, I'm sure you're a nice guy, but you need a muzzle. And that's our list. Got any experiences in which games lie to you like a spouse when she says she's just been to the shops but you can smell the fear and Link's body spray on her? Well, drop us a message in the comments below. If you want to personally fib to me about how I'm not God's gift, then you can do so here and here. If you've enjoyed this episode, then like, share and subscribe for more. I've been Jules for WhatCulture.com and I'll see you soon.